Welcome to Ethiopia Today. We will cover the following topics in our today's presentation. Prime Minister is in Turkey on the Turkey-African Summit. Ethiopia's ambassador in Geneva, Zenaba Kibedakorcho said that his government rejects the resolution passed by Human Rights Council today. The details are as follow. Prime Minister is in Turkey on the Turkey-African Summit. His Excellency Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has tweeted the following message on his official Twitter page. My delegation and I met with President Recep Tayyip Erdogan today in a bilateral meeting on the sidelines of the Turkey-Africa Summit. The historical relations between our two countries have always been rooted in mutual respect he continued. Our partnership continues based on constructive engagement Prime Minister Abiy underscores. Ethiopia's ambassador in Geneva, Zenaba Kibedakorcho said that his government rejects the resolution passed by Human Rights Council today. The Ethiopian ambassador in Geneva said that the Friday session of the so-called resolution is a deliberate destabilization effort and hence his government will not cooperate with any mechanism imposed on it. The Africa Group of Nations at the Council backed his position in a separate statement. Multilateralism after all these years is once again being hijacked by a neo-colonialist mentality. Ethiopia is being targeted and singled out at the Human Rights Council for defending a democratically elected government the Ambassador Zenaba added. The council is being used as an instrument of political pressure. The ambassador said Ethiopia's government has set up an interministerial task force in response to the Human Rights Report issued last month and it has begun work. Allies of Ethiopia including China and Russia rejected any move as usual which undermines the sovereignty of Ethiopia and its democratically elected government. Ethiopia can handle its own problem effectively. In this regard, Philippines has come up with and deserved much appreciation by Ethiopians and its friends by voting no to the UNHCR's resolution. The Ethiopian government has set up an interministerial task force to oversee redress and accountability measures in response to the reported human rights violations by both conflicting parties said Foreign Affairs of the Republic of the Philippines. The government has begun to implement the recommendations in the report, which we note was issued only a month ago the department added. The Philippines welcomes these actions of the Ethiopian government. The proponents of this resolution on the other hand want to intervene again and right away, while welcoming the Ethiopian government's decision to set up an interministerial task force to oversee redress and accountability measures, they are simultaneously seeking to create an international commission of human rights experts on Ethiopia to investigate the same allegations of violations and abuses to take over sovereign prerogatives. Why? And who are they to do so? says Foreign Affairs of the Republic of the Philippines. Even the independent Ethiopian Human Rights Commission itself is concerned that the international investigative mechanism proposed by the resolution duplicates the work of the JIT report and is therefore repetitive and counterproductive to ongoing implementation processes and an unnecessary indeed self-defeating measure to end the specific horror of that civil conflict that only further delays redress for victims and survivors and an end to the horror continued foreign affairs of the Republic of the Philippines. The proponents must learn to respect and not preempt a sovereign state's prerogative to set up its own national accountability efforts and mechanisms to address human rights and humanitarian law violations. They must cease using the Human Rights Council for unilateral undeservedly self-important actions that hinder cooperative and constructive efforts to change the human rights situation on the ground. In continuing to resort to these tactics, the proponents are weakening the Human Rights Council by turning it into an arena of condemnation and a judicial hall without due process, instead of a body for engagement, respect for sovereignty and dialogue. As the Queen in Alice in Wonderland shouted, first the judgment of conviction, and then the trial. The nerve coming from whom it does. The Philippines will not allow this. We vote no. Thank you. End. Thank you so much Philippines. You showed us your fair resolution rather. Thanks our viewers, don't forget to like, and share. And also subscribe to our channel if this is your first time. 
Let's do our part in disseminating the messages to many people as much as possible. And by doing so, you are fighting for Ethiopia and also inspiring us to continue producing these and similar news. May God bless Ethiopia and its people. Many thanks.